The United Nations tonight is calling on China to show restraint as it suppresses a growing revolt in Tibet. Violence against Chinese rule there is now spreading to other countries. <laughs> Police in Nepal and India scuffled with pro-Tibetan protesters today, furious over the deadly crackdown this weekend by Chinese authorities. Beijing is now ordering journalists out of Tibet. It claims fewer than 20 protesters have been killed, but Tibetan authorities living in exile in neighboring countries put that number at 10 times as many. Eyewitnesses report say huge convoys of Chinese troops are heading for the Tibetan capital of Lhasa and surrounding provinces to try to crush the protest movement, much as the army was used in Tiananmen Square during pro-democracy protests in late 1989. And in the 21st century, Chinese authorities also cracked down on the web, blocking access to YouTube and other video-sharing websites. China is blaming the Dalai Lama for helping incite the violence, but the spiritual leader of the Tibetan people accuses China of cultural genocide. Our foreign affairs minister says Canada has expressed concern to Beijing about the violence in Tibet, calling for restraint and urging China to improve human rights. Canadians are also advised to avoid all non-essential travel to Tibet.